Let's go! Hi everybody, I'm Sabrina Salas Matinani and welcome to another episode of Cocktails and Convos where we toast and boast about all the beautiful things happening on our island. And today's, or this month's theme is a toast to Guam's All-Stars. So thank you. I have with me today Brogan Sanchez. She holds on to her undefeated 6-0 record in her MMA career. She earned the unanimous decision win over Miranda Maverick in Invicta 30, which was held recently in Kansas City, Missouri. Desiree A, she earned a bronze medal in the 60 kg weight class at the USPA, that is the United States Powerlifting Association National Powerlifting Championship, which was held recently in Las Vegas, Nevada. Also, we have with us Chris Santos. He recently won the Men's Physique Masters Short Class at the 2018 Ikeka Classic, which was held in Honolulu, Hawaii. He placed third also in the Men's Physique Short Class Open. And at the very end, we with, have with us Brian Sperron. He is Skip's choreographer. They recently won two of the largest national dance competitions in the mainland. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. And, and it's just me, little old me, hosting, <laughs> hosting the show. Got no hardware or anything that I brought home. Congratulations again. Your hard work certainly paid off. Let's just start with how all of you started um, your journeys and what you're doing today. And we'll start at the end with you, Brian. Um, I started dancing at the age of eight. My sister was in Skip, and my mom kind of just signed me up to give me something to do. And I was really flexible when I was young, so I had the splits and everything. So I moved up to the touring company, and then I got to compete when I was young. I stuck through it, and I went to college for dance, and I'm now I'm teaching at Skip. Wow. <laughs> Giving back. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. Chris? I started my uh, bodybuilding journey in 2012, and um, with the implementation or the creation of the new physique division and the classic physique division, it gave me an alternative to build muscle without getting uh, freakishly big. So that's um, kind of been <laughs> what I've been up to lately. And uh, I've been, I want to say I've been, the, I've been making a lot of progress the past two years just after uh, uh, seeking a professional coach instead of doing everything on my own. Broken. Um, I, it all started for me when I met my husband. Um, he was going to school in California and he did jujitsu. I did Muay Thai at the time. We met at the gym, swapped disciplines, and years down the line, I went. I think I went pro in 2014 or 2015, and I've just been at it since then, climbing the ranks. Um, for me, you know, powerlifting is actually new for me. So right. this recent win is um, under a discipline that I'm, I'm completely new to. It's only been like maybe seven or eight months, if even. <clears throat> but I've been in the fitness industry for more than 12 years. You know, I started as a fair competitor. Um, and I, actually, the first time I, I even started like resistance training, weight training, I competed that same year. So it just kind of started from there. And um, like I said, powerlifting is new, so I just kind of stumbled across it. Yeah, how did you stumble across powerlifting? <laughs> um, you know, yeah, it's amazing how things happen. I was supposed to compete in Las Vegas last July, but in uh, for figure, for bodybuilding, it was a national show. Um, ended up pulling out of that, you know, just for, I, I just needed to kind of step away from it. And I, I kind of like lost motivation. Um, yeah, even me, I lose motivation, right? So I felt like, you know, I need, I still need something to keep me going to the gym and kind of like, re, like rekindle that, that fire. And there was a small, there's a small powerlifting community here in Guam, which is growing, but it's still a very small community. But they all kind of go to paradise, and they've been, you know, they've been kind of like planting it in my ear, like, hey, you should just kind of try it out. And at that point, I was like, you know what? Why not? I'm, it's kind of me to just step out of my comfort zone when I need something new, when I need like a big jolt, and that's completely out of my comfort zone. Yeah, so that completely shook it up. So I was like. Why not? I tried a mock meet here, and then now, like, now I'm here. I did a national show, and that was just like seven months ago when yeah. I first started. Yeah, in seven months and a, a bronze medal. Congratulations! <laughs> so, how do you guys? I mean, it, it must take a lot of dedication, a lot of time, to uh, 
to rehearse, to train. So how do you balance all of that and still, you know, go to school, go to work? I mean, it's got to be a balancing act, right? Chris? Because you, <laughs> you work, then you also, you said you dance at PICs. Yes. She has a family. Yeah, yeah and a family. Yes. Yeah. A newborn. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, it takes a strong support system um, behind every strong man is a stronger woman and so I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today without racing um, being there to um, take care of the girls and raise them their, the way they're supposed to be so I have I have a lot to thank for what about you, Brian? How do you balance it all? I don't know how I balance it. I <laughs> like don't get a lot of sleep, so you kind of have to sacrifice your sleep. sleep. Yeah, just don't sleep. Um, yeah, so I'm t I teach all the touring companies, so it's the little kids from like eight years old to the seniors in high school, and that's throughout the whole week. So right after school, they go to skip and they practice till 8:30, and so I'm there, and then I have to plan the dances and whatever they're going to do that day ahead of time. So there's just a lot of pre-planning, me on my computer, um, studying other dance studios and the competition. And I, yeah, I don't know how I balance it, but I'm here, so. He sleeps faster. <laughs> yeah, power nap. <laughs> coffee, coffee is a lot. I drink so much coffee. <laughs> Broken. I got I to gotta hand it off to coffee and power naps as well, but um, I mean here we are at Mosa's, one of my sponsors, and really my sponsors are the reason why I'm able to do what I do. I'm graduating in December, so I've been a full-time student, um, and then I work and I train and I teach at Purebred as well, so um, I got a lot on my plate, but um, my sponsors and my family have always supported me, and um, even at work, at work everybody is so like um, supportive and if I need a day off everybody understands doesn't give me crap about it so I'm just really lucky to have everybody understand that, that this is my lifestyle and yeah. yeah and nothing's really ever changed since I've been training martial arts since I was like 13 so it's just a big part of everything yeah that I do I think it's kind of the same. I mean, you know, like these guys said, just to kind of tap into that, um, a lot of it is really your support system. And, you know, this past competition, and, you know, I've always known that you need a, a strong support system, but this, this past one was a really huge reminder that, you know, you're only as strong as the people who back you. Um, so that does play a big role. But, you know, I've said this before, like as far as balance, I know people talk so much about balance, but I haven't found that balance yet. So if you guys know a secret, like let me know. Um, I feel like there's a constant imbalance, but you know, like Brooklyn was saying, this is her life, you know, and this is my life. And I just kind of accepted this is what I want to do. And if I want to continue with my goals and my dreams, then I need to just kind of come to terms with the fact that there, there's going to be imbalance sometimes. Um, but when you have people who back you and who support that, then they're going to understand that and they're going to do whatever they need to do to kind of fill the void, you know, or fill the gaps. And, you know, at the end of the day, that, that really helps. That's important. All right. Well, we're going to take a break. Stay tuned. Cocktails and Convos continues in a moment.